They call him Bones, Sir Indiana Bones. He is very serious about his job at the Skeleton Museum of Osteology, but he was able to carve out a few minutes to meet our Mike Glover. It is tonight something good. The Museum of Osteology is a really cool place, but sadly, not many people know about it. At the Museum of Osteology, we have over 450 real skeletons. Most donated from zoos and aquariums. Hippos, giraffes, rhinos, dolphins, those are the types of animals that guests can expect to see here at our museum. And when they're not showing off the amazing skeletons, they're hosting events. Sunday morning yoga to forensic date night. They even host birthday parties, bridal showers, and even weddings. But the really big attraction at the museum has got to be Sir Indiana Bone. Back in 2019, a group of us got together and just thought it'd be really nice to have an office pet. So the kitty committee went down to the Moore Animal Shelter. Indy would just grab her shirt. His official name at the time was Indiana Bones. But after getting in some trouble... When he would climb on, like, maybe a skull or something on the wall, we would go, Sir, no, get down. The workers decided to create social media pages for Indy. I came into the office, actually, and I had Indy's account up, and it was like every second he had, like, a few more followers. Indy is now a social media star. Oh, my gosh, because he went from, like... On Instagram, 1,900 followers to like over 30,000 in just like a week. Attracting visitors to the museum from all over the world. B Museum's TikTok and saw Indiana Bones and I absolutely fell in love. Indy now has well over 100,000 followers. Finland and Australia and the UK, like it's crazy. Now you can follow Indy on all social media and we'll have contact information for the museum with this story on our website. A social media star Attracting people to a museum. That is something good. I'm Mike Glover for Oklahoma Zone.